We have another Rhode Island tradition since 1976. Would you welcome in the Bellady Dance Company? And uh, we're glad you're, you're with us today. Uh, Kanina Haig is the founder and artistic director of the, the dance company. She set up her first dance studio in uh, Warwick in 74, and this dance company, I believe, in 1976. Yes. And uh, you can see we're talking belly dancers here, which belly dancing, knowing nothing about it, I know it's got to be great exercise. Fabulous. And it's got to be great education in terms of the culture that uh, this all represents. It does, Frank. We have, um, the, uh, in fact, an hour, and I will be going to Egypt, uh, me for three weeks and an hour for two weeks in um, April. And we try to bring the culture back and make it part of the part of the teaching that we do. Your, student, your students are from all walks of life, yes? All walks of life, all ages, all sizes, all walks of life. We have people from homemakers to I've had judges take my classes. Is that right? Yes, I have. Uh, all ages, too. Yes, it? all ages, um, including me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I may be, uh, you're a little younger than me, I think. I We're bet, close in age. I'll bet you it's the other way around. I bet it's not. No, I'm usually and a senior man around here. <laughs> we, we have, um, I've had students as young as 10, and I've had students as old as 75. Wow. Yeah. Now, uh, available for uh, everything from bachelorette parties, all kinds of gatherings, parties. Yes, we've done um, we've done the Wish Come True Foundation, we've done PBD International Art Festival, we've um, had classes for summer classes for um, toddlers and students where we've gone in and entertained them, young people. Um, what else, ladies? Yeah, weddings, Kinsanera parties. Uh, you, you want some fun entertainment, we're the people to call. All right, if we've piqued your interest, here are some samples now of uh, what kind of entertainment you will get. We're going we're gonna, to uh, watch each of these dancers individually with uh, Kanina here doing the play-by-play. -play. Okay, so first we have Serena, and, and she will do a cane dance. And the cane dance is a takeoff on what is a tatib in Egypt, and that is a men's fighting dance. So the women would not do the fighting, but they can mimic the men. And it's, and, and it's very playful, but it can be very strong also. And uh, before you start, don't forget to provide the oh, music here. Oh, Frank, thank you so much. Uh, you better do it. I don't know anything about smartphones. <laughs> So that's an example of how the men would twirl their tatib or their big stick and how they would fight with one another with this stick. Sabine. So Sabine is balancing the sword and in case people think that this is just a prop, um, it is a bit of a prop, but it is very heavy and it is actually dangerous. The point is sharp, and should she drop it, we were going to ask Frank to balance the sword on his head. Yeah, but yeah. should he drop it, it would go right through his foot. I'm so, not going anywhere near so, it. <laughs> so Frank decided to stay away from the sword. Again, balancing is a big part of Middle Eastern dance performance these days. Thank you, Sabine. And next we have Anara. And Nara is assistant director of the Bellity Dance Company. She's also known throughout New England for her beautiful veil work. Uh, many people associate veil with belly dancing, and this is still true today. Thank you, Nara. And last we have Sandra. And Sandra is doing a dance with fan veils. Fan veils are one of the newer props that are used in Middle Eastern dance. As you can see, they flow beautifully. It's a nice accent to a dancer's routine when she's performing, and Sandra really does a beautiful job with it. Thank wow, you, wonderful. Thank you, dancers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, if uh, you're interested uh, in getting in touch with uh, Any all of, us, of this, yes. how it's, do we do it? It's kaninadance.com is the website. And we will be performing at Effendi's Mediterranean Restaurant, oh. in, um, which is in Cranston. And that's the Christmas party in December. We will be there on December 7th. I'll be doing a solo performance, as will Sabine. 
and the lovely Madia will be with us also. Keep up with the latest news as it happens by clicking the bell to subscribe. And tune in tomorrow for another Coffee Break with Frank Coletta.